So there we go, those are my thoughts on the Nike Air Zoom Tempo Next Percent. Let me know in the comments below. What? Andy, Forest Dean Runner, I'm calling you out, son. Get down the lake tomorrow, 5K, all in, man or manor, Wales versus England, Cumbrian beef. See you there. Game on, sister. What am I doing with this thing anyway? jokes and banter aside we are down at the Lydney Lake for the 5k head to head with Matt I cannot wait what is up guys Andy Forrest and Runner back with another video and today is going to be a cracker it's the next percent versus the Alpha Fly it's the Welsh runner versus the Forest of Dean Runner today we're going to be doing seven I think and a half laps around this lake and battle it out to see who at the moment is in the best 5k fitness shape I'm just getting a quick warm-up done because Matt's not here yet, he's being lazy and he's still in bed probably or he's just taking his time or he's scared, whatever it is, he's not here so I'm going to make the most of it, get motivated, get pumped up, get ready, get those tactics in here, scope out the course again and uh, yeah, just be ready for when he's here so that I'm in the right mindset to go. Okay, so we finally found him, he's finally decided to drag his backside out of bed and meet us down here and guess what? He's not wearing the Alpha Flies at the moment. He's wearing the worst shoe of 2020. The Nike Air Zoom Tempo Next Percent, the ones that I've sent back. So, he's now undecided if he's gonna wear those or the Alpha Fly. The competitive part of me wants him to wear those, but then I want him to wear the Alpha Fly because I think Next Percent versus Alpha Fly is a good race. Feeling good? Feeling ready? Feeling ready. Feeling good, look at him, confident. He was like, I'll challenge you to a 5K race. We'll do that. You're fitter than me. You're in better shape than me. It's all mind games. He's playing with me. Absolutely playing with me. He's going to smoke me if I'm not careful. But you know what? We'll give him a bloody good run for his money. Time to get serious. Club vest going on. Matt's wearing his Swansea Harriers. So I'm going to be representing Forrester Dean today, baby. Matt's doing some strides in his tempo next percents. I'm trying my best not to make it too negative for him straight off the bat, but we shall see how he feels in them. He's gonna race in the Alphas. I hope he races in the Alphas. Very real. We're warmed up, we're strided, we're ready. Are you changing shoes or are you going for it in those? I'm decided. Okay, he's still not decided. <laughs> we're going in T minus like two minutes and he's still not decided. Anyway, let's do this. I'm putting the GoPro away. Bless her, Kelly's going to get some awesome footage. Before we start this, very quickly, make sure you head into the description below. Kelly and Matt's channel will be linked there. Matt will obviously be doing his video. Kelly does her weekly vlogs and might put some of this stuff in her videos. So go subscribe to both of them. And without those niceties out of the way, because that's the only nice thing I'm gonna say about this man today, but I'll always say nice things about Kelly, we will press on and we will do our best to bring the Welsh down. 
Come on, England. There we go. Look, we have the legit shoe, the one that works, the Alpha Fly with that plate. For me personally, this is going on a complete tangent off what today's video is about, but you've seen my Tempo Next videos today just showing you, look, that plate and those AirPods, they're the magic combination. Without that in this thing, it's just an absolute dud. So Matt's making the right choice and racing in these things. What do you want? On your marks? Yeah. On your marks? Get set, go! And they're off. The great Welsh runner against the Forest of Dean runner. It looks like it was about 2.30, that lap. Six more laps to go. Um, I've also managed to encourage some passerbys. I said it's Wales versus England, so I think some guy walking his dog just shouted, come on England. <laughs> All in, last lap. <laughs> Matt has taken the lead again. Is he actually toying with Andy? They are now on their last lap. Well mate, great run. Really good. Oh. Oh. <laughs> 1634. Ish. New PB. Yeah. By about 20 seconds. Wow. That's 10. Oh. That's huge. Oh god. Oh that hurt. That hurt. Oh, I loved it. Oh, five Ks are painful. Oh. Whoa. He's bragging about his win. Look at him. Win in the final lap. Gloating and to the camera. How it, uh, panned out. Try and beat them. Bloody oh. Welsh. They beat the English. One Look at him. Wild. Look at him. We've got to get him back. All in all, oh, I'm annoyed. I'm frustrated that he beat me. But we did get a new 5k PP, 16.34. I kind of said to Matt off camera just before I said, I think I can do a 1630 something. And we did. So I'm really happy with that. And we negative split it, which was even better. We didn't blow up. We didn't do anything stupid. We felt good. We alternated taking the work at the front and so on and so forth. And then Matt just had a little bit more in the tank at the end. What was your time? 1620? 1629. So he beat me by, what did I say? Five seconds. Yeah, about seven seconds. seven seconds. That's not bad. Come on, that's not bad. But he's got bragging rights and that does not sit well with me. Post-race interview with the winner. The winner. Not How was that for you? 
not Come smug on. at all. <laughs> <laughs> not that you've bragged to your camera enough, but <laughs> apparently his game plan is all in his video, so you must make sure you go and check that out. But how did that feel? A rust buster coming back into it, 16, 29, you said. All right, okay. It was horrible. I hate 5Ks, I absolutely hate them. Um, but the plan worked out. Yeah. I knew, I, I think, I still think, even after that, that you're in better shape than me. So I wanted to take it out slow, make it a slower race. Yeah. I knew you'd sit in yeah. whatever pace I was doing. Yeah. So I took it out about 520 pace and then let you do the uh, third and fourth K, I think. Yeah. Let you take the work and then knew that if it came down to a final lap, You'd be I fine. was confident, yeah. Yeah, I was schooled, I was schooled basically. But it ended up working out quite well. We paced it well. We both negative split it. But yeah, he just, you've won too many races and I haven't won any. And you know this sort of stuff and I don't. I thought to myself, when I went past you, I know what he's doing. He's playing me. He's letting <laughs> me do the work now. And he will at some point go past me. And we were over there. You can't see the trees there. And we started going on the final lap and he started to kick away. And I just, I, I kept up with him for about 100 meters. And then he just went and that was it. And all I could do was catch the back of his alpha fly. So in this situation, it's Wales 1, England 0. It's Alpha Fly 1, next percent nil, which you probably wouldn't be happy about because you prefer the next percent. And yeah. So as we part ways from our insane race this morning, which was great, by the way. I'm not bitter at all that he a won. Bit, a little bit. A little bit, tiny. Um, let's ask Matt very quickly. Alpha Fly, next percent. This is the first race as such that you've done in the Alpha Fly, yes? Yeah. How did you find it? I really enjoy them. Uh, when I first wore them, I found them a little bit clunky but I do find them just so bouncy, even more bouncy than the next percent, and you can run faster than them. They feel, they feel pretty smooth once you get going, but they just don't feel great when you're at slower paces. But when you start using that plate and the pods, they do work well together and you run fast. Do you think if we were to do that again and you had a choice of the next percent or the alpha fly, what would you choose? I think over 5K, I'd probably still go next percent. Yeah. Um, can you see the benefit of though over a marathon? Would you I, maybe consider choosing it over a marathon? I would consider it over a marathon because I think the recovery uh, would probably be better. But the next percent, are just, they are quick and you recover well on those too. So. so with that in mind, with the latest release of Nike shoes coming out later this week, I think it's going to be, depends when you see the video, but they are dropping them. Just bear that in mind. If you're thinking maybe of shorter distance stuff, then you might want to consider the next percent. But if you're looking at maybe training for longer half marathons and marathons above, maybe consider having a look at the Alpha Fly. So that was a great insight from Matt, who's running both of them. I'm yet to try the Alpha Fly, but these next percent are pretty darn good. So we'll leave it there, guys. I'm not going to do an outro. That was pretty damn epic if you enjoyed the video make sure you give it a like share it with your friends don't forget to subscribe to this channel to matt's channel to kelly's channel a massive thank you to kelly for filming go see matt's intro his ah oh, we'll leave it there i'll see you on the next one until then